Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price. We're gonna have a look what is going on and what are the expectations here for the next couple of hours and days because nothing much has changed since yesterday. As expected currently we are trading below the 20 moving average and also the 200 moving average here in the four hour time frame. So that's why I think we're gonna probably start to trade within this falling wedge here before we're gonna see a big move. So as long as we're keeping up with the 200 moving average in the four hour, I think that we will trade sideways here within this falling wedge. And uh, once we're gonna lose here the support of the 200 moving average in the four hour, which is currently right at $17,700, I think there maybe we could see a short lived bigger correction towards $16,000, potentially even lower. But at $16,000, we should have enough buy power to support the price. Hopefully, otherwise, be prepared that we could see another fall of around $2,000 down to $14,000. So in the four hour time frame, everything is still looking like that the momentum is shifted to the downside. And although if we switch over into the Bollinger Band, you can see that currently we are trading on the bearish side right at the bottom. So I think the trading range right now is here between 17,700 and 18,340 right at the middle of the Bollinger Band. We also have all the indicators shifted to the downside right now. So that's why I think the momentum is clearly shifted to the downside also for the short term here. And since also the stock market market is probably going to take a dump today I think Bitcoin most likely is also gonna follow so as soon as the US is gonna open I think we're gonna see here a bigger move potentially to the downside but this is what we're gonna have to see in the next couple of hours I think latest if the 20 moving average in the four hour is crossing the 200 there we're gonna see a potential bigger move to the downside at least towards sixteen thousand dollar but this is what we're gonna have to see you just have to be prepared to trade the over on Bybit or Femex if you want to trade this with the leverage otherwise if you're just waiting to buy the dip and accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible over on Coinbase, Swissborg or Binance then make sure to wait for this potential dip that is incoming and remember if you need still an account over on Binance, Swissborg, Coinbase and so on you find all my invitation links down below here in the video description because with my links you will get some free cryptos and free money as well as a bonus if you use my referral links that are all down below here also for Bybit, Femex and so on. And now we can go over into the daily time frame, my friends, because you can see that currently we are getting rejected from the 20 daily moving average. And that is always a bad sign when the price is falling below and also confirm it as a new resistance. You can see also the nine day moving average, which previously was a very nice support level. And right now it could potentially acting as a resistance especially if the nine days now crossing the 20 daily moving average so the next target is here to reach the 50 daily right at sixteen thousand five hundred dollar and if you're reaching these levels down here i think it is also very likely that we could test here 16k potentially even fifteen thousand dollar which previously was our main resistance of this channel and now it should be acting as a new support so it is possible that we're coming down to test this region Region down here maybe start to trade sideways here and then gear up for another big move to the upside because keep in mind that if we switch over into the weekly time frame we have here the nine weekly ma and also the 20 weekly moving average so right here at sixteen thousand dollar and the 20 weekly at thirteen thousand three hundred dollars so it is very likely that we're gonna go into these price levels down below here before we're gearing up for another big move to the upside which will lead into this new all-time high way above 20k that we are waiting for of course that will not bring us straight towards 100k and higher but at least we're gonna create a new all-time high and i think this is probably the last opportunity to buy cheap bitcoin probably below eighteen thousand dollar and now we can go quickly into the Bollinger Bands also in the daily because here you can also see that right now we are trading on the bearish side so the momentum also here shifted to the downside. We have also confirmation that right now 18,650 is the new resistance and all indicators are shifted to the downside. Stochastic is already in oversold condition so maybe here we're gonna see a bullish cross and another attempt here to break $18,600 
but overall I think we're just gonna remain within this falling wedge potentially till 16k before we are gearing up here for another big move to the upside if today because today is Friday and usually just before the weekend we always see big price movements if today we're gonna drop towards 16k and you see that we're starting to consolidate there this might be the perfect long and buy opportunity for you because if at 16,000 we're gonna have enough buy pressure here I think we will potentially go straight up again and not visit those levels down here at around 14,000 dollar but since the weekly is also looking very exhausted and overbought I think it is very likely that first we have to cool off here all the RSI down to the 50 level and potentially test here these uh, 16 to 14 thousand dollar before we're gearing up for another big move to the upside and uh, also if we have a look here into the Bollinger Bands you can see that we are still overshooting it to the upside and uh, currently we're seeing this uh, long awaited correction potentially down towards the 9 weekly moving average at 16,000 or down here at the 20 weekly moving average right at 13,300 dollar so at around 14,000 and uh, since the MACD and KSD is still shifted to the upside, the momentum here for the long term, of course, is still very bullish for the Bitcoin price. You see here the stochastic had a bearish cross, so we have to cool off here a bit before we're gearing up for the next big parabolic move to the upside. So this correction is completely normal, expected, and also very healthy, especially if we're gonna bounce here between $16,000 to $13,300. I will try to DCA in everything I can between sixteen dollars to fourteen thousand dollar this is at least what i am going to do what you are going to do is up to you this is just my recommendation for you you can even start to dca back into bitcoin right now or also start long right now because if you can manage your trades then you are able also to go right now long and scale in your trades down to the potential bearish target because you definitely want to sit in a nice long position once we're gearing up again for another big move to the upside currently i'm not in a position but i will potentially start to dca also into a bigger long position starting from sixteen thousand dollar because here in my opinion the correction has just started and we're potentially going to bottom out between sixteen to fourteen thousand dollar and remember my friends if you don't want to trade at your own but you want to multiply your bitcoin you can do this also over on prime xpt because here you can copy trade other traders you can just open up an account over here without kyc nothing just put some bitcoins over here go here to co-vesting and follow one of the top traders so you can do all of some very nice gains if you catch the lucky one even with a small amount of money you can do here very nice gains of course and with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now so far nothing much has changed since yesterday as expected we are trading between the 220 moving average in the four hour time frame potentially we're gonna create this falling wedge which could break out to the upside of course because that is a bullish pattern but since i think it is also likely that we could visit this fourteen thousand dollar area we're gonna have to see here for a clear breakout and also for our closes below or above our resistance and support points so if anything important is going to happen i will update you over on discord so if you have discord you can join my free discord trading chat you find the link down below here and this is also where you can get access to my bitcoin buy and sell indicator if you're interested in the live stream or getting the code you can contact me over on discord so thank you very much for watching my friends hit the like button like this you can support the channel completely for free also subscribe to the channel of course and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye